Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Fatal Frame 3. We're in Ray's room right now because we force woke up because... kind of got wrecked a little bit. Actually, they use a stone mirror for the first time. But you know what? I got this far in the game all the way to this point. This is the uh, 22nd installment. To use a stone mirror once, I think that's okay. My only problem is... I need to find this mysterious, narrow hallway with a shimmering man at the end of it. In case you don't remember what I'm talking about... Where are we? There we go. Man in corridor. Oh, you know what? I think I might have an idea where that is. I, I, like, it just hit me right now. Hold on. I think it's in this area. Remember that door we could never open and this is the place with the scorch marks on the walls? I think it might be in here. I can't I can't go through the uh, screen partitioned rooms that way, so I have to go here. And around. And down. That's actually not so bad. Let's hope that this time... Okay, I heard a noise. I was hoping it wasn't uh, what I was just about to mention. I said, this time, let's hope I don't run into that freaking shopping cart grandma. Stroller grandma. Because that was a little unnerving. Once again, I get into a fight in a really tight space. She hits hard, and she looked creepy. Most of her body was obscured by the stroller, and her face looked like most of the other ghosts' face. Mouth open a little too wide. Typical Japanese horror stuff. It's creepy. And of course, because I force woke up, my inventory reset, but so did the items in the manor. Now, let me retrace my steps here. I'm going to go straight through, up, up, and around. Okay, all I have to do is just... Oh, no, no, I have to go around. All I have to do is head straight across. Now, while I did get into a few fights, um, the game has been pretty good to me for Ray's uh, excursion so far, but then again... I haven't exactly gone straight toward the uh, shimmering hallway. The shimmering man in the hallway. Where I did go was into uh, the uh, the woman survived the survivor of the plane crash, and she proceeded to kick my ass. That was a little less than pleasant, and I'm pretty sure that's not actually a door. So I'm gonna head to the right instead. I'm sorry. I'm freaking inept with maps. It really is embarrassing. Because I have made mistakes like these before, where I just decide to turn around. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Turn around, I'm like, I, I swear it's a coincidence that I just arbitrarily turned around the moment I said that. But I remembered uh, Type 14 film is right here. Oh, no, it's on the desk. Bingo. Delicious, delicious Type 4. Oh, speaking of, I better switch to Type 7. I always have to do that. Hey, let me see something. No, okay. I, I was wondering if uh, the zero lens transferred to me from K. The answer is no. Too bad. Ray could really do some damage. I mean, she already does ridiculous amounts of damage with Blast. But with the zero lens, it would be over. I wonder if they'll have the crush lens. I mean, I guess that might be a new game plus item again, but... Hey, I'm curious. Okay, now this is... I think I go down. Down, down, down. Bingo. Straight ahead. God forbid I go there from the freaking beginning. It was like 10 feet from me. And I, I don't think there are items here, but I always check just to be perfectly sure. Not even on this side. I'm pretty sure there's just hiding places. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. That body looking thing. Probably is a body, but it's just... Ugh. It's creepy. Creepy, creepy. Okay. Pass through the courtyard. I haven't actually been here yet in uh, this installment for Ray. Or in this episode, I guess. Hour nine. Oh! 
Is it actually coming out of the wall? Well, it's cliche, but whoa. The answer is no. I was really hoping for like girl in kimono box from Fatal Frame 2 coming out of that well. Oh, whoa, 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 a little fast there, buddy. Hey, I do get the measure function from K though. Ah, I was a little hesitant because I thought he would be out of range. Whatever, this guy gives me more than enough time. Bingo. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, could have finished him off. Not gonna bother with blast now. Not much of a point, is there? I will go for a full power shot. Bingo. Cry a little more. Okay, well, guess I am going the right way. This should be the room. You see the you see those I, I call them tassels. I, the, the wards are wherever hanging from the uh oh. Inside? Can I actually go in there now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, oh damn. Oh, right, 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 right. Can I go in? Rest here as a cornerstone. Whoa. Ugh. Oh, good. I may be able to open it. Unlike the last 200 times I tried that. Turns out I could the whole time. I just didn't feel like it. Let's do it. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, <gasps> really? I can go. I can leave. Why is he not fighting me? Is what I want to know. That's the first time I've ever interacted directly with a ghost. Let's see what happens when I try leaving the room. That's gonna be hilarious. Really? Let's walk right past the guy with the knife and just climb into a hole. I see nothing wrong with this. Carpentry tools. An old map. Well, hello. When the Shrine of the Rift fails to stop destruction, build the Shrine of Sleep. So basically, Crimson Ritual, if that fails, use the Hidden Ritual. And pray for the priestess to slumber. To keep the Rift from opening to the outside world, the final command must be driven in, where the Shrine of the Rift and the Shrine of the Sleep connect. What could be the area shown on the map? I'll have to find out. Oh, ooh, ooh, what's this? Switch. What is it, the ability to switch on the fly? Like switch lenses? Oh, right, equip up to three upgraded lenses in instead of, I guess, um, two. Okay. Ugh, still don't trust this guy. Alright, let, let's try this. That's convenient. Uh, why don't I go ahead and check my file? Like, can I actually look at the map, please? If it's not too much to ask. Oh! I really can't make heads or tails of that map. That's so hard to read. Five rooms are drawn in. Thank you, I can't, like, read it. Is the map here or something? Alright, last time I look at this. Um, I'm gonna feel silly if, like, all of you just know exactly what's going on and it's just, it's just me that can't make this out, but, like, I'm having a real problem here. Unless these are just the shapes of the five rooms and I have to find what looks like that. But that seems like a little much. And now as I open the door to leave, he stabs me in the back. Come on, he's gonna get up. Look at that angle. Really? Um. Uh huh. Well, you can stay if you want, but I'm leaving. 
I'm just going to hit the door, which might finally open. Although, why do I get the feeling that the moment I get to that door, it's going to be like, wait, go to the five rooms, because two puzzles to open the damn door wasn't enough. But we'll find out. I just find it creepy that that ghost just didn't move at all. Like, at all. And he seemed to be solid. That did kind of happen in Fatal Frame 2, but like... Is he going to fight me or what? Like, he's already fought me. That's what's throwing me off. Okay, do I keep going straight? Yeah, this is actually going to be easy. That scared the hell out of me. Let's see what that was. Don't even tell me there's a damn ghost and I, like, can't track that. That's creepy. Well played Fatal Frame 3. That actually got me. I didn't really react audibly like you couldn't really hear me go oh my god but like that that was good that actually got me i am impressed aren't you proud of me i didn't check my map still waiting for a fight okay i'll try this okay it must not be spread the unleashing cannot be allowed to continue. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my film right now because this guy kicked my ass last time. He's not the one who made me use the stone mirror, but he got close. See that? He goes low. Oh, this is now gonna get wrecked. He missed his second hit because I guess I moved a little bit. Oh, you get no time for that. Honestly, I can't believe I got that one off. You you get no time for that. I should do blast, actually. Why not? One more, please. Ah, oh, nuts. Whatever, I can handle one shot. Gotcha. Whew. Oh, I didn't drop anything. Whatever. This is one of those ghosts, though. Like, in Fatal Frame 1, they were kind of leading you toward the end. In Fatal Frame 2, they were explicitly leading you toward the end. But this ghost is seriously like, guys, what you're doing is a bad idea. The Butcher's trying to kill me, like, to protect this manner of sleep. Like, to prevent some a further unleashing, I guess? Like, something bad's gonna happen. And this ghost actually appears to want to uh, not allow that. But you know what? A pox on you and your desires. I burned five freaking dolls. I swear to God, there better be nothing else on this door. Open the door. I'm gonna wake up. That's actually okay. As long as I'm opening it. You heard that creak. I'm finally opening it. I might be approaching endgame. No idea if... I oh! I'm not waking up. Might as well conclude this installment the way it started, black and white. And by installment, I mean like raise. My filament is visible. Hey, wait a second. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's two of them. I just realized to use type 14. I just realized. Um. I'm gonna check my map in a second. But I have my suspicions as to where I am. Shrine Courtyard, yes, but... Oh, no, 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 okay, never mind. This is the beginning of the game. I thought this was the Kurosawa house in Fatal Frame 2. I was like, why would Ray go there? I, I'm pretty sure they won't attack me, but, like, I get the feeling they might... <laughs> Can I go left at all? Invisible wall. And I, I went a little I went a little forward, so it's gonna flash me out. Now here's the question, do I go back to color or do I wake up? Wake up. It's taking way too long, I wake up. Yep. Okay. Let's see how that tattoo's doing. Or you know, not Oh, there it goes, I feel the rumble. Oh, it's hitting leg level now, that thing's... Whoa, we are almost covered. We gotta be approaching endgame now. That looked like a disaster. 
the Dream Mansion. Let's take a look-see. I'm just so excited that we're finally getting to doors that I've been waiting for for the entire game. I've broken ten hours in this game so far. Beyond the door, the shrine carpenter is boarded up as a small shrine I saw in my daydream. Did the door see the shrine? Is that where the ceremony was carried out? Could it really be like in my vision? A place to meet the dead? Is you really in there somewhere? Look, the answer is don't go anywhere past the damn entrance. Be a little creeped out and wake up and live your life with fewer hauntings, because the further we go, the more messed up our house gets. Speaking of which, let's explore. I actually have time this time. Well, first of all, I'll check our own room. I think I hear the phone. Yeah, that's the phone, alright. Oh, oh! Miku's room or Yu's room? Oh, I wanted to be let in. Oh, that's no. Where are you going? Oh, on the bed. Let me pet you. Yes. Oh, that's a first that actually came up to me. Yes. Best cat in the world. Oh my god. Because I've been doing this for the whole game, but nothing came of it. Hmm. Ha. <sighs> but enough of that. I'm telling you, man, that doll. Now, um, my question is... Shit. Not the hell with it. I think, I'm pretty sure the last time I picked up the phone, it just cut to nighttime. So I'm going to do a very quick once-over of the downstairs. I'm waiting for it to, like, hear a voice. Pick up the damn phone! That is one patient caller, and I have one inconsiderate receiver. Okay. I probably should just get the phone. Screw the dark room, I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll just come to it at night, if that's what it takes. Alright, I'll pick up the phone, I'm pretty sure the game really wants me to do that. Sorry I'm making you put up with that incessant ringing. Now here's my question. Cutscene haunting? Gameplay haunting? Both or neither? Cutscene hauntings are very rare, so who knows? Let's see what we got. Yes, Kurosawa speaking. Miku? Whoa. You have the wrong number. Holy crap! Uh, two questions. <laughs> what, what? Three questions. Let's answer that one first one right now. What the hell is this? Hello? Uh, this is Amakura. Let me out! Jeez! Did you have that dream again? Yes, I see. I think we should go check out the main house. Maybe. Oh, are we actually gonna go to the house? That'd be cool! I'll look over the legends and stories, bring what I have. Books described as an engraving shrine. If we combine the info we have, we might get some delight. Okay. Yes. Well. If that phone rings again, I swear to God. Okay, nighttime. Is it? Okay. If the phone's gonna do that to me, then who knows what's gonna happen at night? Now, my two questions were, um, when the phone rang a second time... No, 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 when the, when the phone rang the first time, it was, uh... The first question was, uh... What the hell? Like, oh god, like, Miku's in the dream and I'm not. And number two... How... Did she call me? Unless the hauntings are just doing that to mess with my brain. And I seriously cannot believe there hasn't been a haunting in Yu's room. I can't believe it. And I'm not counting the attic. The Manor of Sleep Urban... Oh, boy. It's an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. Several stages. One, having the same dream. The patients first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. Number two, dreaming of the manor. Wandering into the large manor is huge snowy Japanese style. Laid out haphazardly as though many extensions were added, then deep in the manor one discovers they're nearly departed. Haven't quite gotten there yet. I've seen you, like, 
with glimpses. I'm not going to count that, really. I don't think that counts. I don't think that's what they're looking for. Proceeding deeper. They follow the dead deeper. Most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way, like hearing a lullaby, seeing a mass funeral march, or being pursued by a tattooed woman. Okay, so we've gotten that. I can't wait for, like, stage six to be insanity. Hallucinations while awake. Oh, we got that. Oh, my God. Abnormalities of the body while awake. They feel a sharp pain and see a blue bruise or snake like tattoo. Decrease in waking hours. Oh, boy. Oh, so I'm sleeping more and more. Response to external stimulation grows weaker. The time spent in sleep increases. From a medical viewpoint, it's a defensive reaction to pain. So if the patients are actually in pain, it's a normal response. <clears throat> Step six. Dis a freaking peer. The patient actually vanishes, leaving only a black soot-like mark. The above mentioned is the original urban legend, but the popular one is more story-like and includes strong feelings for the dead some in the first nightmare. Once you follow the disease in the dream, you can no longer return, and if the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will beckon that person into sleep. The matter of sleep disease spreads thusly. Deep in the matter of sleep is the world of the dead. If you make it, you can meet the disease there. That's kind of like more of like See if you can go deeper into the manor. That's interesting. If you pursue the dead, you'll not be able to return. Even I knew. Even if I knew that, I... Oh, so she's considering it. Man, she loves you, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's try the attic, even though it's, like, such a waste of time. I, I still haven't found a use for the spirit radio at all. You know what? Kay's probably going to come over and do something about this. Or maybe even Miku, because it looks like there are sort of crawl spaces. Okay, that's one room. And as we saw, Miku was not in her room. But there was no soot mark, so I'm not going to just say she vanished. I'm not going to go there yet. Aha! Uh -huh. She just must have been out. So I thought that was Miku yelling at me to let her out. I guess it was Yoshino. I'm so tired. That's a new thing for her to say. I feel so cold. Ugh. That's a new thing for her to say, and that is bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. That was a slight variation on what she normally says. <clears throat> She's out of it. I blanked out for a second. We gotta be approaching endgame. Our characters are getting messed up. There's that photo of her and Mafuyu. I don't have the zoom function. I would kinda like that. Doll? Anything? Oh, I am seriously waiting for the end of the game to be like... Miku gets whisked away. Like, not vanished, but it's just me in the house. And so all sorts of stuff happens. Like, freaking... Evil Dead... Alright, let's see what happens when I go downstairs. Uh, anything at the window if I take a... Nah. Well, now I'll hazard the downstairs. Still looking good? Kitchen? I thought I heard something. What is that? It only seems to be there when I'm right by the refrigerator, so maybe it's just the refrigerator running. Then you better hurry up and catch it! Muha! 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 Um, okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll work my way backwards. Oh! Like I said, I will come back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. This game is about to ruin my life. I see it coming a mile away, and it's going to scare the crap out of me. It's going to happen. I'm going to flip out. <sighs> okay, I'll check this room. Use shrine. Okay. Closet. I s why does it have to be the bathroom, and why am I right every day? damn time about there being a bathroom sc oh, oh about there being a bathroom scare in the game like it's amazing how much like yeah they're iconic but like and yes they're legitimately entertaining like in hindsight especially but oh they freak me out silent hill and now this game are freaking mastering this technique 
And I'm sorry, I'm about to check the bathroom, but dark room first. I'm telling you, the bathroom is going freaking last. Okay. I was all tense, waiting for that leg to show up again. Ugh. Nothing I can check in these cabinets or anything? Okay. Uh, you know what? Can I, like, look at these photos? I was kind of wondering if they actually put the photos of the uh, the ones I took in the game up on that little hanging thing. That would be actually pretty cool, but no, it's just generic uh, photos from work or something. Toilet. Good. And now the part I will hate myself for. I could have gone back to sleep. I could have just gone to bed and skipped this. I really could have. I can see my face. Hey, jackass, just bloody handprints. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was more interesting than outright scary, because it happened slowly enough. I would have lost my freaking mind if that thing popped out at me. Hey, nothing in the shower, nothing in the shower. Good. What Mika's been worried about? Right. Okay. And now the last room to check. Well, actually, I kind of teleport in there every night anyway, so let's just... Well, no, I did go out and talk to Miku, so let's see if anything changes in my room. And did I check the storage closet out? Yeah. Now, here's my question. Why is the ghost that's haunting me... Holy crap. Don't do that, man! I see your freaking shadow just... Ugh. I'm so tired. Her shadow just showed up. I feel so cold. That was a good scare. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. Yeah, you sure did. Man, just seeing a shadow come off off screen, that was a coincidence. I didn't have to do it like that. That just struck me in such a way that it came off as scary. Okay, I'm gonna check Miku's room one more time just because I'll be alone in it. See if anything happens. Uh, probably not. Like, the big scare's already happened. I really come in here just for that damn doll. How much would I bet nothing happens within the entire game? <laughs> now, yeah, question. Why is it the Thorn Woman that keeps showing up? She's one scary beast. I got no photographs. No musty photographs. Okay, no, no coffee cup rattling. Good. Uh, hold on. Yeah, what the hell, I'll save. I was gonna do a once-over with the room, but you know what, I'll just save, and if anything happens, it happens. Okay. Good. Anything else? Closet? I'm telling ya. Waiting for that closet. Goody, goody. I think we're in good shape. Okay. Well, now that I've checked the whole house, I can stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today. It seems that we're finally going to open that accursed door. It took four dolls to be burned, four priests, and then what happens? There's one more super doll, guarded by one more freaking priest and we finally got it off the door and if that creaking sound is supposed to be indicative of actually opening it I think we might finally be where we want to be uh, there's just one small problem Miku's starting to go to sleep more and more our tattoo spreading more and more and you know what that ghost is making herself more and more apparent in our house <sighs> man when that thing gets really obvious I'm gonna panic I'm telling you now, what's going to happen next? We're going to be Ray again? I'm suspecting Miku. But, oh, what the hell? You know the game's going to make us wait. Probably being Miku again, so let's see what happens with that. Until next time, everyone.